We are live. All right, good evening, fellas. Today we are coming to you live from Sanibel Island, a small island off the coast of South Florida. And I'm eating my very first acai bowl that I've ever had in my life, and it's pretty good. I feel like uh, I live What's it called? So in today's video, you know, I have interviewed and um, questioned the crap out of Brooke and Gray's relationship. So now Brooke gets revenge and gets to question mine. Um, so I'm going to have Sydney and Brooke ask us questions that some of you have been wondering starting now. Okay. <laughs> what was each of your biggest fear going into the relationship with the other person? Ooh. Way go. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you go first. That's heavy. I'm scared what your response is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think that I had any. Like, right before you asked me to be your girlfriend, I was waiting for you to ask me to be your girlfriend. You just be like, you weren't scared that he was gonna, like, be mean to you or, like, cheat mm -hmm. on you or. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was back. No, I genuinely didn't. Like, at all. I don't. I can't think of one thing that I was like, oh crap. That's good. <laughs> well. We list off these things. Kind of Alex deep, is about to go in on these. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is kind of deep, I guess. But I didn't know if she was genuinely saved yet or was genuinely a Christian yet. So that was something that was kind of scary to me. But I was like, it's not going to be like a half in, half out kind of thing. She's either going to like like the lifestyle that I'm living and want to also be a Christian, or she's not going to want it at all. When you're dedicated to your faith, so I wasn't that worried about it. But that was something I wondered. And then she got saved, so all good now. Turkey. All right, that was a good one. That Sid. was a really good one. Yeah, you blasted us there. How? Oh, she got it. Oh, Brett, <laughs> you can go. <laughs> this is your flight, is it? No, you okay. can do whatever you want. What is the worst fight you guys have been in? The other day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what it was about. Something silly. Do you want me to bring it up? Your laptop. You left it in the coffee shop. Oh. That sounds so silly to even mention this. I told you we would laugh about it again. Um, I'm still fuming. <laughs> I went to the bathroom and she went to the bathroom. They left. When I came out of the bathroom, I walked past our table, which apparently had her laptop on it still, but I didn't see it. And I walked out of the shop. And she was like, are you serious? You didn't even see my laptop or something like that. Or she thought I just was being neglectful of her property. And so uh, she was kind of upset about that. And then I was like, I was like, you got to stop being so sensitive about stupid stuff. And then that, she didn't like that. I feel like we don't really get in like we haven't been like really mean with we've never had a fight where we were like we were gonna break up or anything most of them are kind of smaller and closer to the times around I'm about to be on my cycle so <laughs> no taken how do you guys make sure that God is the center of your relationship and you're not just two Christians dating one another okay so like we do that by reading together we have a good devotional which I feel like you've mentioned and then like praying together just like making sure we do all of it together it's good to do it apart too but together also to make it the center of your relationship yeah devotionals are great but the bible is always you know the number one so yeah i would agree what outfit is your favorite that the other one wears i like that question she's really <laughs> good, yeah, good questions i used to play a lot of those games to like test your relationship okay. online or something yeah. <laughs> online. questions to ask your boyfriend <laughs> how'd that go i'm <laughs> of yours? I like like your island like um, what do they call those like sunset dresses or what like that red one? You sundresses. Like? Sundress. Yeah. All right. What's the one? Easy slides. Mhm. Mm I don't know if I have a favorite. I literally am like okay with anything. If you could wear anything, and you'd still be cute. Oh. Appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. Chose the wrong answer, Alex. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. <laughs> I'm over here like you have later. one dress that I like. <laughs> Only one. If you had to choose. One, no, not two. This is a bad way to prep this question. Is there one thing that the other one does that's a pet peeve of yours? Ooh. I don't really have really a pet peeve that really gets under my skin, but. It's be way too nice. Yeah, I mean, I really don't, but she does have all these words that she says constantly. And that's like. A pet peeve you have to say. No, not a pet peeve, really. But like, if I'm frustrated about something, then. When she says them like over and over, like seriously, 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 I'm just like, all right, chill out. I saw it, I saw it. I'm like, chill out. All right, what's yours? My pet peeve of Alex is when I, I'm just gonna treat you like you're our therapist, is when, when 
I get like upset, like I was saying, sensitive, a little bit upset. And he's like, you're so sensitive. This is gonna ruin a whole day. This is gonna ruin five hours. This is gonna ruin six hours. <laughs> Down to the hour. Yeah. Ruin That's four and a half hours. That's my pet peeve. You know, yeah, if you give it a five hour show, I'll goes, give it to you. She goes quiet and gives me a thumbs up like this. That's how I know I've screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite thing about a killer that you haven't seen from anyone else? Okay. Uh, she's, she's very like stable, like a very stable. <laughs> That's kind of funny going off that last question. She, emotionally, she's very stable. <laughs> Believe it or not, she really is though. Like on most, like those are rare that we have those fights. Most days, she's just very steady, and I've never had that in a relationship before. It's always been like the up and down. Yeah, one day they're good, one day they're like weird. I feel like you're the most patient person I've ever dated. I guess that's a big compliment. Thing. You're pretty patient about most things, which helps. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. A lot of you guys ask me where I get my shoes, and I have found a new place that has good deals all the time. Sometimes even giving away shoes for free, as well as like really, really good deals on dope shoes, like the kind of shoes that you can only get from StockX and Goat. I've gotten all mine, like these dunks. Check them out on Instagram. Constantly doing story sales, where they do stuff for like crazy cheap. Everything's authenticated and real. Uh, so check out Soul Tunes on Instagram if you guys want to get some shoes. That's where I get all my stuff. You know when you start dating someone, like you get super excited about like meeting like, them, meeting your family, and then do you ever get like that one like trip or place that you can't wait to take them? Yes. Uh, yeah, and it was here. It was literally where we're at right now. Because like a year ago, like literally I think a year ago this week, I DM'd her on this island. And now a year later we're here. My place is Hawaii. Oh yeah. Um, Oahu. There's this beach, Lanakai Beach the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I literally like want to get married on that beach with the two islands in the background. It's just so pretty. Her mom's side lives in Hawaii. Yeah. All right, two more questions and we're wrapping it up. What did you guys think about each other before you met each other? Or like what you assume they're gonna be like? Okay, yeah. I thought, to be honest with you, when I first started talking to her, I did not think it was gonna turn into a relationship. I was just like kind of infatuated with her because of how pretty she is. First thoughts was like, she has a really small waist. That's good, I guess. Attractive. <laughs> uh, she's really pretty, obviously. And she seems like she travels a lot, and I like to travel a lot. And she seems also like she would be fun. But I started Snapchatting her just because I thought she was pretty. But I didn't think it would turn into a relationship. Um, and it did. I have some choice first thoughts. Well, obviously, I thought he was attractive. But I was kind of like, mm, don't really know if I want to talk to him. He has a crazy ex-girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so cut that. <laughs> Oh, but no, actually, okay. But yeah, I thought he was really cute, and we followed each other for a long time, and we had mutual friends, so I knew he wasn't like a serial killer. And I was like, actually, I've said this before, the vlog knows this, but maybe they're not that invested, so they probably don't remember. But my mom, <laughs> but my mom was actually the one that was like, you should respond, because I was like, uh, I hate guys, and this. <laughs> This guy is DMing me, he's kind of cute, but like I also like don't really want to be dating anyone right now. I just kind of like hated men at the time. And she was like, Natalie, you'll never know if you don't try. Why don't you just respond? So I responded, and then we didn't stop talking after Shouts that. out to Debbie. What trait do you admire, like how they're going to pair with those? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's a good one. one. Can you go, well, she's, she's very infatuated with kids and animals, so it's like she- Not a weird vibe. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that made it sound really weird. <laughs> it wasn't weird until you said, in not a weird way. Well, to say you're infatuated, infatuated by children. Yeah, I like feel like you. most women are. <laughs> she like loves kids. Is that weird to say? No, that's, that's and, a normal way of yeah. describing yeah. expressing Yeah, <laughs> and she's like organized and patient and clean and very good at doing things that moms do. Like, for, especially for just like our generation, she's very, very good at like cooking and doing stuff like at the house. Not saying all women have to be in the house or whatever, but she wants to be, <laughs> so that's a great quality. And uh, yeah, she works from home anyways doing Instagram stuff, and she's very good at stuff that it takes to be a mom. And hopefully I'm good at stuff it takes to be a dad. Like, like screwing in light bulbs. <laughs> so I think that Alex is good at being patient, like I said, with me. Like, he'll be really good at that with kids. Even, like, seeing the way you are with, like, your younger siblings, you're really patient with them, even when they're crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I feel like a lot of people our age aren't patient with kids. They're like getting away by kids, and Alex is like really good about yeah that. Which is um, hell because I've been. He's not good at building fires though. Oh, there it is. so can you build a fire? Oh yeah, no problem. Build many fires. It looks like we're stupid. We are, Matt. <laughs> we're the only people in this whole place who somehow made us just fill our room with smoke. So that's concerning. But every well, time you luckily, I'm not alter your future. Right, I know. Well, luckily, we don't live in the 1400s, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps it up. We're here on the island, about to go hit the beach. And uh, this is our last day for me and that, so we're very sad. But next week, we got a regular vlog uh, about this trip and with these guys. And uh, so I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video because it really does help you out. We're almost to 100K. Yeah, we're Woo! getting there. 100K for a year. <laughs> I'll be saying that in 2027, like, guys, almost 200K. Almost there. I know we've lost 40,000 subscribers this year. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye. Bye.